Hello folks. This quick video tutorial is designed to specifically illustrate how to use the new save progress feature in the Jasper Active Microsoft Office Specialist system effectively. I'm going to start off by going into a course and running a benchmark exam and then I will go in and complete a couple of tasks in an exercise and make a few special notes. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and select Microsoft Word Office 2019 here in this case. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and launch my benchmark exam and as you know this will produce an instruction page to begin. So let's go ahead and get that going. Once the benchmark exam opens, I can begin my work. Notice the clock is already ticking. Okay. And one thing I'll point out is before we even get started, notice there is a new button on your Jasper Active Pane called Save. So we will uh, specifically focus on that in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and do what it says here, and it says to open up a PDF file. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and it tells me to go to my Resources Files. And it specifically references uh, opening in this case, miscellaneous recipes. Ah, in this case, it's the doc uh, file. It then tells me to type the following text. Okay, so I'm going to actually be lazy and I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go to my copy button here. At the top of the page, and then it says to press enter when finished. Okay, I've done that. I'm going to mark that as done. My next and previous buttons are now arrow buttons. Obviously, the arrow to the left is previous. The arrow to the right is next. So that's a slight uh, graphical change there. Okay, then it tells me to come over here and to save the document into my projects folder. So I'm going to go file, save as. I'm going to browse over here until I get to my projects. And it tells me to save it as Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay. Now, whatever the reason is, uh, maybe the, your teacher uh, started the class with some explanation or something, but my class period is about to end in about two minutes and I've just gotten a warning from the teacher to go ahead and start wrapping up and shutting down, but I'm in the middle of a benchmark. So what I'm going to do and follow these procedures correctly if you want this to be successful, the first thing the student needs to do is they need to save their work. Now this save feature down here actually pertains to telling Jasper Active to save in its file um, area exactly what has been saved in Word. So first you're going to save what is in your office product in this case Word. So I'm going to go file, save as. You will always do this in the My Projects, so the Documents, Jasper Active, My Projects folder. You will always do this in the My Projects folder, okay? And we'll call this German-Doc1, okay? We'll just call it that. German, my last name, Doc1. And I'm going to hit Save. Now, I've saved my work now. Please be advised, though. If you're doing an, a benchmark or an exercise and you actually have multiple documents open, save each one. Okay, once I've done that, I can now hit the save button and I get a message that comes up. Your progress is about to be saved. And it does give you an example, and, and I follow this format, last name, doc one. Okay, I can go back to my exercise if I feel like I, oh, I forgot to save the document. Okay, remember, you've got to save the document first. Or if I've already done that, then I can hit save progress and continue. So it is a very procedural step to use this effectively. First, save your work, then click the save button in the Jasper Active Pane. Now click save progress and exit. It is doing just that. I'm at 46 minutes and five seconds and all. So when I come back in here, I will actually be able tomorrow, I will come back in and I will begin or continue my benchmark exam where I left off and my work will be saved. One of the things I will make note of here, uh, and please tell your students, that it, 
Microsoft saves certain instructions in memory. Examples would be redo and undo, like in the quick access toolbar. Uh, we cannot save those. That's Microsoft saving that in memory. So once you leave your Microsoft Office system, uh, those will be lost. So if you're doing any work in the system and a redo or an undo function was required in the last task you did or a previous task, those will be those will have to be repeated. Okay. Uh, also, and we, and we talked about the multiple documents. So I just want to emphasize if you have if you do have multiple document situation, make sure you save each file. So now I'm going to go in and real similar as well, but this time what I'm going to do is I'm essentially just going to kind of click uh, into the benchmark again and I'm going to hit continue and this is what I wanted you to see here. Okay, so my benchmark was saved. Everything's good. I'm going to go ahead and resume. Okay. And then I can continue my work if I want, but I want to go ahead and demonstrate to you essentially how to uh, save uh, or save your work in an exercise instruction. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit my results here and take a very poor grade on my benchmark. And that is grading my benchmark exam. I got at least one thing. Oh, good. 3.85%. Not too bad. We have a new button here called Return to Jasper Active. We're trying to make it a little more friendly instead of just an X icon. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And that will take me back to my exercises or to my, my courses, your courses. Okay. So once I get back to that, okay, I can start my quiz and so forth. But to save time, I'm going to switch over here to 2016 where I can go into some exercises that have already been begun. Okay, so in this particular case, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use the quick, I'm going to go in and working with documents. So I'm going to click practice. And that's going to open up an exercise. I will note right now that if you do get into exercises, if your students get in here and they they are going to be saving and coming back tomorrow to finish, when they return the next day, they must complete unsaved exercise work before beginning new exercise work. If they begin new exercises, if they jump around, they will lose previously saved work. So the previously saved work must be finished before they continue. So in this particular case here, uh, I'm going to come in here and follow instruction, create a new blank document. Okay, done. Next. Okay, click the file tab. Click new. Agendas. Okay. I'm going to click business. I'm going to click agendas. Okay, got a couple of those uh, done now and, and so forth. I'm not going to worry about doing it perfectly right now. And I'm going to come back to the next, exer next exercise, etc. I've decided that I'm now out of time. Once again, you're going to go back to your document and you're going to go file, save as. So very similar process here. And you're going to go to documents. You're going to go to Jasper Active, my project. You're going to name this accordingly. I have now saved my work. Okay, now I can hit the save button. So do not hit the save button on the Jasper Active pane until you've saved all your work. And I'm going to go ahead and say save progress and exit. It's saving my progress in my projects folder, and that uh, will be ready for you again tomorrow. So this is the correct way to use the save progress feature so that student work is saved and not lost and students uh, can now continue into the next class period on another day or if they have um, classes that are split with lunch in the middle or some, uh, some kind of a block schedule with breaks or whatever it may be, then your students can take those breaks and then come back and continue their work. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, look forward to uh, hopefully your students having, taking benefit, finding a benefit and taking advantage of this new feature. Thank you very much.